Welcome to another trading tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to generate a ratio chart between two financial instruments on the Thinkorswim platform. Stay tuned. On the screen, I have the daily chart of the S&P 500 on the top, the daily chart of Gold ETF GLD in the middle, and the ratio chart between GLD and S&P 500 on the bottom. Now, Thinkorswim does not have a ratio study for generating ratio charts. So, in order to generate this chart here, I wrote a thing script to calculate and plot the ratio of the two underlying. The ratio chart study that I will allow you to change the reference underlying. All you have to do is click on the study, edit study, and click on this gear icon. And you could change the underlying, either select it from a list. Or you could just type it in if you already know the symbol. So let's say, for example, we want to change this to the uh, ETF for the S&P 500, the SPY. So I just type in the SPY and then click OK and change that. And as you can see, this uh, symbol have changed to reflect the uh, reference symbol that I'm using, the reference underline to SPY. Now, if I want to also monitor SPY along with the GLD and the uh, ratio chart, all I have to do is just change the uh, ticker symbol on this chart on the top here to reflect SPY. We're basically looking at gold versus uh, the SPY ETF to see how it performs. So with the ratio chart, we can see how gold performed relative to the S&P 500 recently. As you can see, the slope of this ratio chart is going down. So automatically, we can see that the uh, gold GLD is underperformed relative to the S&P 500. And right now, it seems to be a little bit of flat in this area right now. So maybe gold is trying to make a comeback. And that's the good thing about using a ratio chart to sort of get a look of uh, the relative performance of one underlying versus the other. Now, in the next segment, I will show you where to get this script and how to import it to your Thinkorswim platform so you could generate a racial chart on your Thinkorswim platform. Now, to get the link for the racial chart thing script, just go to the description section and scroll down until you see this line here. And highlight this link here and make a copy of that. Now, come back to the main window of Thinkorswim and click this setup icon and click open share item. And here it asks you to input that URL that you just copied. Just paste that link into this box here. So just do like the instruction said here, press Control V, and that will paste the link into this box here. And then click on the preview window to make sure that you got the right uh, link for the uh, script. And it should say uh, SM underscore ratio underscore chart. Now, since I already have a copy of this ratio chart, that's why you put that parenthesis one, you most likely probably will see this. If you want to name it something else, go ahead and change the name and just click import and it will import the script into your Thinkorswim platform. Now let's generate a chart with the racial chart on it. Let's first open up a chart for Apple. And so to generate the chart, I just gonna use edit steady instead of add steady because I could search for that uh, racial chart uh, think script. So just type in SM underscore ratio. And it should come up or whatever the name that you uh, decided to use when you import that thing script into your platform. So I'll select this, add it. And as you can see, originally it comes uh, with the ticker symbol SPX, the S&P 500. And let's say we want to change that to the ETF. So I want to use the SPY. And also, I do not want to use the, uh, the Aqua color for the line. Let's say we we'll decide to use white, so I could change that. And if you want to change the uh, the weight for the uh, the line, you could also play around with that. So let's go and select that. Down here at the bottom is the ratio chart between the SPY and Apple. Now in this segment, I'm going to show you how to set up a chart screen like this. So start with let's go back to the main window of Thinkorswim. Now back in the uh, Thinkorswim main window, what first we want to do is select this flexible grid. So you can see that it uh, automatically falls to some sort of configuration and mine uh, might not be uh, the same as yours. 
But uh, here what we want to do is we want to only have the top and the bottom window. We don't want to have two different windows at the bottom. So click on this to delete them. So now we got two of them and we also want to take out the sidebar. Okay. So now we have done that and, and we want to go and click on customize grid to uncheck that. Okay. And click on this icon here saying shows action menu. You want to click on that and do a detach. Okay. So now we just have detach a window, create a separate window with that grid format. I want to open this up to maximize it. Okay, so the first chart here is I want to generate my reference uh, chart, which is spy. Okay, and here let's say we want to plot the uh, spy versus the uh, GLD. Okay. So now I'm going to go and add this steady. Right, I have shown you before. We're just going to type in ratio chart here. Okay. And I want to change this to spy. Okay. Change the color, change whatever the uh, default setting you want to use, then click on save as default. And then click OK. And then click that OK. So now you got the chart here. Now it does look kind of small. So what I like to do is I like to, you know, move this window here up. You know, so kind of split that into uh you know three window try to get it approximately uh you know equal here you got the uh, uh etf gld versus uh spy the ratio chart and here's the uh the gold uh, daily uh, candlestick chart and also the spy daily candlestick chart so now let's say you want to look at the ratio between qqq and the uh, spy then all you need to do is just uh, select qqq and uh, you generate the uh, ratio chart for the Q over the SPY. Similarly, if you want to take a look at the uh, Russell 2000, how it performed relative to the uh, S&P 500 or the uh, uh, ETF, the financial. So you could uh, basically plot anything that is plotable on the Thinkorswim platform against whatever reference that you want to use to calculate the ratio. So I hope you find this video informative and useful. Be sure to smash the thumbs up and help me share and promote this video. Thank you for watching and stay safe.